All right, hey guys, what's up? You got lightning here. Back at you guys with another video. This time we are playing Aurelia, of course, versing Alawi. Uh, now I wanted to put this video up. I've I've already uh, played this video. Um, I've got into the habit of sort of playing at night time and then just recording all my live games. So it's like um, you can see my mouse clicks and things like that, and then and then just sort of doing the voice in the morning. Uh, the reason for that is obviously I've got other people in the house, which um, I wake them up and that sort of shit, right? So. Um, I really wanted to put this video up because Alawi is a matchup for Aurelia that is, in my opinion, a rare matchup because not not many people play Alawi these days. But it's quite it's quite hard. Um, and so I made a few mistakes in this matchup. Still came ahead and carried the game, and I just wanted to show it off just uh, so I can explain what I did and how I sort of beat Alawi. Um, I'll put the runes and masteries up. Uh, no wait, no. I will tell you what my runes and masteries were. What were they? Looks like they were AD reds, scaling armor, yellows, scaling MR blues, and attack speed quints. That's what I used. And it's fervor and fearless masteries. Um, now level one, I just start. I just start Q because I don't want to trade with her. Um, if she has a passive tentacle and then Qs me or whatever, she can just out trade the shit out of me. So early, I'm going to struggle. I already know that, so my idea is just let her push me in, get the CS that I can, and scale up a bit, and then um, go and fight her a bit later. And I'm doing a really poor job of dodging all of her Qs at the moment. Um, I gotta say, it's been like, how long would it have been? Maybe even like six months since I've been versed in Alawi, so I don't really remember the like the damage, the damages, uh, the damage that she can put out every level. So um, a lot of this was just sort of damage testing <laughs> if I go to fight her like um, I was just sort of testing the damage to see if I did stand a chance to sort of take her on 1v1 and that was a mistake you'll see this uh, later in the game anyway um, so I'm just sort of letting her push me in and then hoping not to get poked down she makes a mistake and takes a tower shot so I stun her get my W and then just Q auto for a quick auto attack I don't want to go into her into her plants so that's that's my main goal is just not go into her bloody tentacles to get slammed uh, she gets me with a good E there so I just back away I should have gone out of the range I think I can't exactly remember how to get out of that but I think the best way is to get out of the range the little circle indicator um, before she managed to kill you now here I made a mistake level level three right I'm level, I'm level three she's level four I was like okay I can go in but then she gets that massive sustain I can't remember how she gets that sustain um, she gained a shitload of health so there's a mistake there I'm only level 3 she was level 4 I should have got level 4 and taken note to her passive tentacles on either side of the lane um, I forgot that they can be really really painful if you get hit by both of them so that was a really bad really bad all in but um nevertheless um, I know that now <laughs> so we won't be going in like that again my strategy is just to still hold the lane here since I do have scaling um, scaling resist, resists in my runes. So I don't want to, I want to do quick short trades if I if I can, but not, I don't want to extend in a big all out fight with her. See right here, she has no um, passive tentacles, she only just got her first one, so I managed to get a real good trade. But then she managed to um, return the damage quite well, and then she gets me with another E, so... So I mean that could have gone better, but it didn't. Now Zach goes in here. I this this played out really really weird, but um, I didn't really want her to go in like that. Uh, sorry, him to go in like that. And then Gragas comes in. I'm like, oh shit, 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 shit. So managed to get the stun off there. Zach has his pass off, which is good. But I'm just trying to sort of dodge Gragas's shit. And then, yeah. Zach manages to go in to get the stun, and I just go in for the uh, to return the damage and get the kill. And then Zach's passive go off. So even though he died early, um, still managed to kill uh, what do you call it, Alawi, and then um, outplay the Gragas for the kill. So this puts me ahead quite a bit. Now I'm just going to shove this right in, and then and then back. What I might actually do for you guys uh, while I'm watching this video is, oh shit, didn't want to do that. Hang on guys, I just mucked up my video.
Okay. Anyway, we're shoving the lane. And then we're just going to back and then come back to lane, right? So, what I was going to do was speed the video up. But in this new thing, I don't know how. That's a problem. Okay, I'm just going to play it at uh, normal speed because in this new video player thing that I've got, I don't know how to do it. So, we'll just watch the whole thing. Anyway, so once I've got back to lane, I'm going in for an all-in, right? And as I've just found out, <laughs> it wasn't the best decision. So, I, 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 uh, yeah, really regret the going in there, but I shouldn't have. And then I went back in and I got the kill and she flashed. But, um, <laughs> but still, you know, like, level 6, when she's got those passive tentacles down on the, each side of the wall, um, yeah, really, really not a good idea, guys. So, don't all in her like that. I mean, it's, I, I, I played it, like, retardedly, to be honest. Like, I shouldn't have gone in like that at all. Like, <laughs> definitely no way. So, if you're versing Alawi, especially as early, don't, do not do that. Just, you got to play it smart. you got to you got to try and clear the wave how you can and then get rid of her passive tentacles whenever you can. If she's got like, you know, even one um, and you try and all in her and she gets, she manages to pull off an E and then, and then ult you, uh, you're basically fucked. <laughs> Cause even your sustain from your, uh, your, your ult can't, can't save you from her, her ult and her, her tentacles. So here I am coming back to lane, trying to get rid of all of them that I can reset the lane. So when she comes back to land and she's got no tentacles, I actually have the advantage. Well, at this point, that's what I feel from doing the damage testing. Um, so she's got one tentacle there. At this point, I, th I still think I can outplay her eventually. Um, just got to do it smart. So the most important thing is the CS, right? So I just want to get the CS, dodge her E wherever I can. I think that's the most important thing is dodging her E. Get a quick trade off there. She returns the damage. Uh, I was still on the trade, she took a tower shot, and this ward that I placed, um, I should have mentioned it, um, when you're getting pushed in a lot, um, the jungler is quite likely to gank you from either the tri bush behind you, so that's a really valuable ward, and also the um, the lane bush, right, so those are potential ganks for a jungler whenever you're getting pushed in this hard, and whenever there's an opportunity for a dive, a champion like Alawi can definitely 100% dive you, but Gragas comes too close. I'm, I'm not weak at the moment, I have, you know, I got the two kills, so, and Gragas is level 5, so, I, I just went balls deep on him and then managed to get the kill, and since I pinged that Gragas was there for so long, Vega managed to comes up, come up and, um, you know, snag the uh, Alawi kill off me. He deserves it, give him that. But, just, just, just having that defensive ward, you know, save my ass, because, I mean, if I didn't have that ward, I mean... If I wasn't looking at the map, I may have gone on to try and trade with Alawi earlier, and then, you know, obviously I'd pay for it with my life, probably. But having that ward just really saves you. Because um, you never know what the jungler's going to do, right? I mean, if, if he's dueling with Alawi, I don't know, but um, he's either going to camp top or mid or bottom, you know, and you might be the unlucky lane that he's going to focus on. Um, in this situation here, Alawi TP'd back to lane. Now I want to back, so I'm gonna just gonna get a quick trade off it with her, get some damage down, and then I was gonna back, and then I was like, you know what? I'm like so close to Triforce. Well, oh no, wait, I'm not. I'm not close to Triforce at all, am I? I think my mindset right now was that, um, you know, I can still, I can still stay in this lane and not die. So I did. <laughs> I should, I should have backed, I feel like I should have backed and TP'd, but, um, I thought, I feel like that would have been the right decision here, just back and back, get a, um, get my Tabai and then get my, um, start buying my Stinger, I couldn't get a full Sheen, so, wouldn't have been able to get that and then just come back to lane, but, okay, I think, yeah, now that I'm out of mana, low health, I back. So, I want to get my Ninja Tabai, just have that extra sustain, um, while dealing with the bullshit. Thankfully, she doesn't stop my back. I'm glad about that because that would have pissed me off. I uh, can't get my Sheen, but I see my team is getting the tower. So I start TPing. They get the tower. They get bot tower, which is really good, even though we lost mid. And then I get my Sheen. So that was quite good. Managed to get a full Sheen on this back. So now, at this point, I think, you know, I can really start roughing her up a bit. 
Just gotta get better at dodging her E and um, her other abilities, like her, just her Q. Such a basic ability. And then I go on for another damage test. You see what I mean? Like, um, at least at least I'm doing the testing for you guys. <laughs> so, even even at this level, when I'm, I feel like I'm ahead. Even though she's got her tentacles there, I still can't one v one her when she's got her ult up. So that's the key. When she has her ult up, um, I think the best thing to do is to try and make her burn her ult. But now she comes too close. Um, people don't expect that you play you play back a bit, you play scared, but just in range of your Q, right? For a, for a minion, and then when they when that, that minion gets low, you just go straight on it and then go straight onto her. They they never expect it. Um, so it's a really good trick to sort of play. It's just all about mind games. You play scared, so they think, oh yeah, she's no way she can kill me, and then you know then they go in on you. So at this point in the game, right, we look at it with with one lane um, through. I don't know how. Damage testing. <laughs> anyway, so Tristana comes top. I thought I thought Zillion would have come top with her because uh, there's no way Tristana can you know survive lane with Gragas camping it and stuff like that. So. I just rush straight to bot. Um, don't worry about spinning gold. I just want to just get the wave, save the tower, and uh, I won't bring it up on screen. Oh, I might bring it up on screen eventually, but the uh, the Draven's actually quite far behind, so I know I can just kill him with these, especially with the the Tabi. Did a really weird engage there, but it's okay. Boom. So. Just killing him over and over again isn't going to win me the game, but I mean, if I can take over the whole bot side of the map, that will in fact win me the game. Um, as long as my team can uh, survive the Alawi power, then we should be sweet. So my goal right now is just to be that split push threat. I'll see Alawi goes down to Tristana. So my goal is to be that split push threat that they can't deal with. What Dra Draven can't deal with, he's got Morgana on his team. Um, so there's no way they'll be able to deal with me anytime soon. Uh, I think Draven ended up going. He, he did really bad in lane. I think he got. I think they got destroyed actually. Uh, so Draven's obviously not there. So run mid free kill. Get more pressure on this tower. I think I decided to back. Yeah, because I got my triforce now. So I back. So now I'm the real threat. So at 14 minutes, I've got my Ninja Tabo and my triforce. So I'm a huge threat on the map right now. So I just want to go split push, create chaos on the map, and then see what I can do from there. I'm going to go into the Titanic Hydra build because um, I, th I think having the survivability is just is just really good. The extra health with the with the Ninja, Ninja, uh, sorry, the Ninja Tabe and then the Scaling Armor is just really good. So uh, especially versus Draven, normally versus Draven, um, if, if, they were, if he was doing good, I see he's 1 in 6 with ADCS, right? So he's doing really bad. But if, if the Draven was good and they had... Um, maybe another AD3 on the team, uh, I'd probably go for like a Thornmail or something just to deal with Draven because he can be a real fucking pain in the ass. If, if you Q onto him uh, and then he manages to, to, to E you away and you have no more gap closer, um, he can just totally shred you, eh? But, um, so he gets he, he's getting greedy for the CS, just trying to get what he can. I feel sorry for him because <laughs> since he's lost lane and I won lane and now we're doing a lane swap, uh, he doesn't really stand a chance, unfortunately, but... So every time he comes up to get CS, I'm just going to kill him. I'm just going to keep pushing these waves out to the tower, and then roaming mid if I have to, or just keep pressuring bot side. And unfortunately my... Did my team go down? Oh, I think Tristana goes down here? Okay, yeah, she went down to Alawi. Not the best thing. But I'm down here pissing around with Morgana. I need to get something on the map. Um, since my team lost something, or lost a death sort of thing, I need to try and get something as well. So I'm toying with this Morgana, making her think, oh yeah, she can get me. Then I queued a minion, and I realize, holy shit, my damage is just over 9,000. So, yeah. And then the Draven's not going to kill me. It, I've still got my ult, so there's, there's no way in hell he can he can one me, one me, even with this this health. But I outplay him here. Boom, son. Get wrecked. So look at that. Even, <laughs> no chance. Probably shouldn't have gone for that last Q under the tower. Got a bit low there, but that's okay. So I got rid of two threats on the map. Alawi's still dead. Morgana's just spawning. We can still put pressure on the tower, but I, I can get a free back here. Back and get my um, 
the first part of my my titanic hydra which is going to be really good for the wave clear and then also burst damage is really good for burst damage with that auto reset so we get that now it's only 16 minutes into the game don't forget so normally you'd have sort of your boots and two items by you know the early 20 like 22 minutes sort of thing you know um especially um titanic and triforce they're two very expensive items so triforce is 3000 is it 3800 now yeah i think it is and then titanic's 3500 right and then your boots are 1100 by memory so you know it's quite a lot of gold to have in the first 17 you know minutes of the game well sorry 22 minutes of the game when you've normally you know finished both of those items and your boots but in this case of 17 minutes into the game you know i can just basically do whatever i want I used my flash here because why did I flash? He flashed as well. I don't know why he flashed because um, his blade surge, uh, my blade surge, sorry, doesn't um, like once I click it on you, you can't dodge the damage. I don't think you can't dodge the damage, but um, you can move away or whatever. But you can't dodge the damage once it's once I've cast it. So it's kind of useless for him to flash there. I don't I don't quite know what he was thinking, but that's okay. Anyway, so. We're really, really, really fed. So I want to create heaps of pressure on the bot side of the map. But see, I'm pinging top because if I'm creating all this pressure on the bot side of the map and then allow is still getting a, a second, a tier two tower on the top side of the map, then there's literally no point of me being here. So I ping my team to defend that. They managed to stop her from getting it, which is good. And now I keep taking over the bot side of the map. I own the whole bot side of the map right now, so I want to keep owning all the objectives that I can. Taking blue away from them, blue on me is just so good. I love having blue buff on Aurelia because you can just do whatever you want. I go and help the Vega here. Jokes. <laughs> Doesn't need help. And then just making more pressure. Keeping these guys, you know, just jumping around. Keeping these guys wondering what the fuck is she going to do next, man. <laughs> like, they don't, they don't know. Uh, I think they've watered the some shit in here because Draven's running away. Unless they just told him. I'm not sure. Uh, where are we at? So Alawi goes down again. And I've used this wait in the bush trick so many times. Uh, especially this game. It's worked like twice now, I think. So I'm just waiting for Draven to, you know, one, once you don't get that CS, he's like, oh, yeah, no one's there. So then you just go in and just Bop. Use a couple of old hits and then go in. And then Gragas and Morgana are like, oh yeah, we're gonna kill him. I think I use Ziggs is there as well. So it was a really good idea for me to run here. I was gonna turn because I was so fed and I was thinking, you know what, I really wanna just fucking get these guys, but um, for the sake of um, playing the game properly, best thing to do is to back off and help my team get the dragon. It's a cloud dragon, so I wish it was Infernal, because um, since I'm so far ahead of the curve, uh, in the, like the level curve in the game, it would have really helped me um, snowball a bit harder. Or even just push towers, you know, something simple like that. So here I am, just taking over the bot side of the map. I'm saving my TP, I'm not going to use my TP unless I have to, because I want my I want my team to go for Baron. I want them to keep pushing, I want them to, like, the way I see it, someone should be top, like, I don't know. Tristana should be top just clearing waves and then I want three guys to come for me and then my team just to go for Baron but right now with with Draven sitting bot and me killing him over and over again it's not it's not an ideal situation because I they've got their weakest member out of the team fight and the, I, we have our strongest member which is me um, you know not not in the team fight also so but see this is the thing three guys come so I've killed Draven then now Ziggs and Gragas are here I'm gonna fucking bop all these guys, right? So, move out just out of tower range, and then kill them. And then look at look at these look at these sick outplays, boys. Bomb son. So we got four kills just there, and then my team comes here. Why didn't they Why didn't they go to Baron? You know, I died of the Draven ult. But I'm taking over the whole bot side of the map. Like, why Why do they come to me? I've got the teleport. Why don't they go to Baron? And if you guys didn't see, I I, I muted all all people at the start of the game that's why there's no um, chat sort of thing because I don't want to talk to them I just want to play the game play my game 
But see, a Baron Core, they didn't even get the fucking inhib. Like, I could have got the inhib. Four people came to the top side of the map. That's why you have a top laner and a split pusher. If a rally is in the in the position in the game where she's not going to get outscaled by like a Fiora or a Jax or whatever, and you can split push, you know, then split pushing is fine. And I've got my TP. Like, why didn't they go Baron? That's what I was wanting the whole fucking time. That's why you split push is so your team can, you know, get Baron, right? Have some pressure on the other side of the map. And especially with how fit I am, and I can take over the whole map. You know, I wish they went they went Baron. That was my, my idea. But, um, so right now we're doing Baron, right? This Vega goes out, um, and dies like a fucking idiot. And then I'm still on Baron and I'm like, oh, yeah, we're not going to get it. So I come down, I was like, help, I suppose. And then... I was like, oh, we'll go back on Baron, then I didn't see Alawi, and then she comes and, and just fucking kills all of us. Like, yeah, probably should have backed off, but the whole, the whole macro game right here is just so annoying for me, because my idea is, like, that, yeah, we're, I'm going to push top, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to push bot, I'm going to take over one whole side of the map by myself, and then my, they're all going to come for me, I'm going to get out, then my team's going to get Baron. But see, I unmute it all just to tell him you don't need to chase kills. Because what's the point of this guy chasing kills? Like, he's got no mobility, he's squishy as fuck, like, he's, he says he was trying to zone. But he's, it's his job to stay at the back, you know, like, yeah, place your E down in, into the entrance to the, to the river, but then fuck off, you know, if you get back to Baron, step behind us so we can frontline for you, um, wherever necessary, you know? And then I just tell him that and then I mute them all again. Like, even though they're not doing too bad, I feel like the re um, how I came out of laning phase and then took over the whole bot side of the map, um, you know, gave us that win. So, that's the reason why these guys are able to do really good. Like, Draven has no gold. He's got, like, a Death Dance and a QSS at, at 23 minutes. He's got nothing. But then, so Draven is dead. I'm like, yeah, come back on Baron. Like, Alawi's, you know, probably off doing her own thing. She won't get a quadricle again. We've got full health. But then Zack, I don't know. Like, someone needs to tank. So I'm like, oh shit, a bit of tank. But he's... He's jumping into the pit now. This is so fucking close. Look at that. So close. Like, I'm pretty sure that Zigzolt would have fucking killed all of us. I mean, sorry, killed the Baron. But he just got the smart off. And then the smart thing to do here would be to back. Because we got Baron, right? But no, no, no. I'm, I'm tilted and I just want to go in. My idea was to get this kill and then flash back out. But um, it didn't work, so... Bad play by me. Really, really bad play by me. See, if I'm, if I'm giving shutdown gold, or like, you know, another three or four times, like, they're gonna catch back up on gold. Even though, like, even though the kills are pretty insane. We've killed them so many times, but... There's always that risk of, you know, throwing the game in and, and then fucking get up, right? So... Bad play by me. There's no reason to go one for one and give gold away like that. Especially when you're so far ahead like we are. You know, you, you want to go um, like one for two at the very least, you know. Uh, you know, you know you, there's no way you want to go one for one. It's just not good enough at this point of the game when you're ahead. And you should be able to control the, the, the pace of the game. But, I mean, that's okay. Anyway, with these guys with Baron, I thought they would go top. But that wasn't the case. I was pinging top because I thought I was like, yeah, you guys all go top and I just want to push bot. Even though I've got no TP, like my TP's up soon. Like it's not like they couldn't just keep shoving waves for another minute and then and then wait for me. Um, but no, Tristana and Zelene came bot. I don't I don't like it because, well, even though top lane's pushing, I, maybe I could have gone top, but I mean, I don't know. I just don't feel like grouping with these guys. So we got a team fight here, so we've got the Zigzog, we've got the Alawi, um, Zek ult. I killed the Alawi instantly. Grag Assault, we got, so we got Grag Assault. So it's the Zigs and Grag Assault. I think Draven, did Draven ult? No, he didn't. So we killed Alawi, that's like their front line. Gragas isn't very tanky right now, so... Check out that flash timing, eh? Brilliant from Morgana. But I have Phage, so... I catch up to, I catch, I catch up to her automatically. Oh, and Trinity Force. So get the inhib. And then we're able to push him. I mean, we can't push him for the win right now because, you know... I'm not tanking all that shit. <laughs> KDA, man. KDA. Now, my KDA is really shit this season for Relia. 
I need to sort my sort my shit out. So anyway, bot in him, then transition to mid in him, and then top blade, top wave of setup to push. Now we can push uh, top in. Uh, my team wants to fight. That's okay. I'm just gonna push top. I don't know why you'd sit there. You know, with everyone's used all their spells. They've they've got to buy uh, if they needed to, and then you know we're we're still sitting in their base. Oh, we you know we we do have super minions, but you know. So now I'm thinking I have to try and escort these guys out to safety. You know they 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 should have just rotated down to the uh, you know across to the top side of the map, but. Get kill on Morgana. Oh, yep, still get her. Watch this go balls deep on the zigs. No sun, not today. So we get an ace. So that's basically the end of the game. But that's the. I mean, it wasn't really. I mean, that was still. The, yeah, that was the Alawi matchup. But I mean, once I got ahead, um, luckily this game my bot lane managed to get their tower first, so I was able to just snowball the whole map basically. But you see how annoying, I mean, what I, one thing I could have done in the mid game was um, really ping that Baron a bit harder for my team, so they got the picture. Because I mean, what what you're thinking, everyone thinks different, right? So what one thing that you're thinking could be completely different from what someone else is thinking, like um, Tristana might have been thinking, yeah, you know, I want to I want group bot to get the inhib, but I'm thinking, you know, I've got TP, go straight on Baron, like it's, it's so free. Um, but yeah, there's that game. I, I think tips for Alawi, um, uh, I think would just be simply to avoid her E early and kill the passive tentacles whenever you can. You can fight her in small bursts, but you really want to get rid of those passive tentacles. And I think, I think in this matchup running flat armor is, is a better choice. So you don't take such a beating early. Um, there's no point in turning it into a, like a Renekton matchup for nothing, you know, you know, you might as well just run flat armor and you know not take a beating have a chance to you know i think if i run flat armor i could have killed her before six and 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 not died earlier um because we're scaling armor you know level two three you just don't have enough armor but level five you know that's when you sort of i mean level i don't know i guess level four or five that's when you could sort of start fighting people as if you had you know flat armor um and of course, from six onwards, you know you're gaining you're gaining armor from from as if you had flat. So yeah, I think flat armor is a good choice in that matchup. And then just rush, uh, you know, like Fage. I mean, Triforce Ninja Tabe, and then you can rush like the you know go into Titanic after that. But anyway, guys, uh, that's the end of the video. I'll leave you guys here with that video. Um, I must say sorry for the sound on the last video, the Ikama video. Uh, I don't know why it was so low, but. Um, hopefully that is fixed this video please let me know um, hope you guys like the video be sure to like and subscribe if you want more and I'll see you guys in the next video yeah, yeah.